Austrians are heading to the polls this Sunday for the second time in two years after a snap election was called when the coalition government was torn apart by the Abifa Gate scandal. This caused Sebastian Kurz to become the first chancellor in modern Austrian history to be ousted through a no-confidence vote. But is he set for a comeback? While looking at recent polls published by Europe Alex, the opinion polls show that the Austrian People's Party, of which he is the lead candidate, they still lead at the top with 34%. Now, social media is playing an increasing role in elections in Austria this year, with many of the candidates and their parties taking to social media, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram to engage with and mobilise their supporters and potential voters. Using simple messages like this, this from the Social and Democratic Party, a simple yes or no is the message that is being portrayed. But also on Instagram, we have seen a number of lead candidates posting pictures as they travel through the country day by day on the campaign. And indeed, when we come to the political advertising that's been used in Austria, it's also at an incredible high. You can see five of the six major political parties taking part in the elections this Sunday have, between them, paid over 200 thousand euros when it comes to political advertising on Facebook and indeed the lead candidates of both the Social Democratic Party and the Freedom Party have each spent more than a hundred thousand euros each. But is this actually having an effect and what is the social media race looking like? Well come with me, this is Crowdtangle, this is a tool we use to evaluate and analyse social media engagement and if you see here you can see the Volks Party leading the polls and Sebastian Kurz is respectively fifth here and third there on Facebook when it comes to the total number of interactions interactions and the share of the voice on social media. They are way behind their opponents when it comes to it. We've seen the Greens doing incredibly well when it comes to social media with the recent climate strikes. But it's not just on Facebook as well, it's also on Instagram. If we scroll across here you can see again the far right party from Sebastian Kurz. If we look at the rate level when it comes to engagement, Sebastian Kurz way down there at the bottom and also if we look at the rate here from the Volks party again at the bottom of the table when it comes to social parties. But why is this the case? Why is the party leading the polls behind its opponents when it comes to social media engagement? Well, I asked this question to Uta Russman, a professor of communications. The, the huge difference is that um, Sebastian Kurz already um, had a, a very good social media campaign in the last election two years ago in 2017. So he, at that time, um, what the party actually said was that social media is the heart of the campaign. Um, so they were already putting social media really in, in focus of their as a campaign tool. So perhaps quality over quantity for Sebastian Kurz and the People's Party. But we'll have to see if this social media strategy translates into votes in Sunday's election.